Okay, today's episode of JavaScript interview questions is going to be a pretty quick one. We just want to know if you can figure out whether or not a number that's provided to a function is an integer or not. So does it have a decimal and anything following the decimal or not? That's it. So I've got three sample versions here. We're going to pass in a number 3 to see if it is, 3.5 to see if it is, and 1.0000 and see if that is. So we expect this one to give us a true. It's an integer. There is nothing after the decimal places, just zeros, so those should be eliminated. This one should give us a false, and this one should give us a true. So the link to the starter code is down inside the description. Give this a shot, and I'll come back in a second to talk about the solution. All right, welcome back. So, talking about this. Now, whenever you're writing a function like this, you want to make sure that you protect yourself against things like uh, somebody passing in something that's not a number at all. So, a good place to start with these things is to write a little bit of code to protect yourself against that. So, is nan. This is the function where if I put a number inside of here, or a variable inside of here, if this is not a number, this will return true. Well, that's kind of the reverse of what we want to do. I want to know if it is a number, not if it's not a number. Well, we can just put an exclamation mark in front of that to flip the sign. So a false becomes true, a true becomes false. And now this will tell me whether or not whatever's being sent in is numeric. So if I were to run it right now, I would expect to get three trues, just like that, because 3, 3 3.5, 1.0000, they're all numeric. So this is returning what, we, what we'd expect. Now the second part of this is figuring out if something is an integer. Well, thankfully we have a built-in global function called parse int. So parse int, so you can see there's a, there's a parse float and a parse int. Parse int removes the integer portion of any number that you pass to it. And if the integer portion of whatever's passed to it is the exact same thing as the number passed in, then we know, okay, we have an integer here. And that's the core of what we're looking to do. So we'll save that. We'll run this again. And there we have it. True, false, true. Just what we expected. All right, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.